Hey guys, welcome back to Tamiya Legends and once again, thank you for stopping by. Um, so in this video, we're going to um, make a start on the White Edition Dark Impact. This is on the DF03 chassis. Um, first time I've ever owned one of these cars. Um, I've heard very good things about them um, and I'm super excited to... Um, obviously we're going to make it look how I want it to look and then eventually we're going to get it bashing. So, super cool. Um, what we're going to do in this video, well, I'll show you the car in case you've never seen the car before and then we'll go through the bits we've got for it. Um, so the Dark Impact itself was released in March 2006 under Tamiya number 58370 uh, and it ran from 2006 all the way through to 2014, which is pretty incredible, isn't it? You know, that's eight years in production. Um, when I, when I look at this car, I kind of look at it as a, as a new Tamiya car, but obviously, if, you know, Dark Impact 2006, that's a lot of years, what's that, 13 years ago? Anyway, um, this version came out in 2015 under part number 84400, um, and it's a basic Dark Impact, but obviously um, completely white. A little bit odd. Um, Obviously the plastics tend to get a bit yellower if, if it's in the sunlight and it's going to show scratches up. This is brand new, never run, but it's going to, sh oops, it's going to show some terrible scratches up. Um, but when I saw it on one of the Facebook groups, I just had to have it. It's, I had a real pull to it because it was in, in white, which was a little bit odd. Now, the top of the range version of this DF03 is the MS version, which the prices have just gone through the roof literally like a thousand pounds I mean I don't know who would pay that for one but it's um, that has all the the alloy bits on um, it's got that superb decal sheet the MS colors which just looks absolutely stunning I think it's I think this this has got ball diffs the other, the other one comes with ball diffs I think it comes with a one way it comes with a slipper clutch um, loads of alloy um, and it's got the um, TRF racing wing but we've actually got that we're going to be putting that on that ourselves um, so just before we look at the car, I'll show you what we've got. So in, a pre in the previous video, we've just built these um, new DF03 alloy Tamiya shocks. Um, I'll put a link to this, this very quick video. Um, I'll put a link to how I built these in the description below. So if you want to check that out, please do. But they're, they're awesome. And I, I just think these shocks, have, if you've got a DF03, you've got to have a pair of a set of these shocks. Um, we've also got, um, what's it called? Uh, DF03 hard turnbuckle shaft set, um, which is part number 53940, and that's obviously the same as the MS uses with the blue alloy in the middle, which again I just got them for looks only. Obviously the majority of this car is going to be white, but I'm sort of I'm, I'm finishing it with kind of the blingy blue because the decals have a, a bit of blue in them as well. So we have that, and then finally I went for the wing that I was telling you about. Now that, this is called a buggy racing wing 53984. But it's, it's, I call it like the TRF wing. I think it comes on the TRF 201 and 503. And as I say, it comes on the MS version of this. Um, the wing on this car is great, don't get me wrong. But this is just a little bit more sort of in your face. It's probably an extra, what will it be in width? It's probably about 20, I don't know, about 23. Yeah, about 23 mil longer, wider. Um, and I just like it. I think it's just something a little bit different. So that's what we're going to be doing today is fitting these on. Um, obviously with the, the paint job we're going for, um, the, the shell and wing are going to be white, it has to be. Um, we've got the original white dark impact decals to go on it but we're not going to use all of those. Um, and we've got some um, chrome TRF ones which I'm hoping to use on the side of the, the new wing that I put on. Um, and obviously we've got some blue alloy wheel nuts, you've got to have those. Um, so that's what I'm planning to do. So what we'll do now is I'll just I will have a close up on the car as it is, and in case you've never seen one before. So as you can see, it's pretty different from other stuff. It's there's not a great deal of room inside for the electrics, which I believe is a little bit of a problem. You've got to be really careful, get your wiring nice and compact and what have you. Um, as you can see, the steering servo bolts down right over here, which is a little bit different. Um, what else is uh, so obviously the speedo and what have you I'll show you the battery that clips in underneath and goes down this middle section um, this as I say doesn't have a slipper clutch on it's just got the spur gear underneath there there's no electrics fitted at the moment um, so as I say the battery goes in underneath Tamiya body clip 
and then it's just got this little spindle that pushes out and then that falls out like that and that's where your battery goes pretty compact quite like it so that slides in little shaft goes through like that and then your body clip which is like that and that's your battery in pretty cool so that's the basic car lots of suspension travel on the rear um, obviously a lot less on the front but as we put these new shocks on we'll play around with the uh, the shock settings that's the turnbuckle set that we're using and as I say the racing wing we're going to use which is going to be cool as I say we've also got the original decals for it this is the white edition decals now it's got this nice blue one which I'm hoping is going to go with the alloy and the turnbuckles um, but we're not going to use all of those it's going to be a sort of suck it and see so the first thing I'm going to do is the spray work um, so that's the shell looks like the protective film has been taken off so that's going to need I've got some alcohol wipes so I need to give this a really good clean up maybe a little bit of a trim as well um, and obviously cut the rear wing out and then we'll get those two painted white now on, even on this is very easy because of it's, it, it's got these blue decals so I can just spray the full shell I don't have to worry about masking the windows off which is pretty cool um, actually feeling that it has got a protective layer on that's awesome um, that'll save me a job so it's just a case of cleaning the insides up and cutting this wing out and then we'll get it spread so I'll go do that now and then we'll come back and get cracking with the car so that's the wing cut out so as you can see that's the original dark impact wing and this is the racing buggy wing so size wise I'll put it inside it you can see it, it's it's way bigger um, I've shaped it slightly differently I've kept the side up at one side and then made that narrower so hopefully that's going to sit something like that in fact we'll bang it on and see what it looks like so I know it's pretty difficult to tell when it's not painted um, it might not come across on camera very good but I'm really digging that wing I'm thinking that looks pretty cool um, I'm liking the shape I've got obviously I cut it at an angle at the front and we cut it slightly lower on the back so we've got higher sides um, but I'm actually loving that um, that's looking rather cool so next job as I say let's get some paint on it right that's the paint on so much better painting in summer isn't it <laughs> it dries almost instantly so I've not taken a protective film off of the that yet of the main shell but you have to take it off of the wing uh, in order to spray it because um, the way it's moulded the protective cover is on the wrong side um, but I think that's going to look pretty cool so we'll just leave that alone to harden um, so next stage is the fun bit now so let's get the wheels and tyres uh, sorry the wheels off the car and um, let's get the new shocks fitted and we'll get the turnbuckles off and um, make the new ones to the correct lengths and get them fitted and see how that looks right that's the shocks and turnbuckles set on and instantly I don't think the video is doing it justice but this thing really pops now um, so as you can see we've got the turnbuckle set on um, and that set obviously comes with the steering as well which is cool um, front shocks on, rears, rear turnbuckles, and as I say, once they're on the once they're on the car, they're um, super smooth, really, really nice. So I'm I'm chuffed with that. That's that's looking pretty cool now. Um, what I'll do next is I'll um, I'll stick the wing in the shell on just to show you it, um, see what you think. Just while I've got it here, these are the white shocks I took off the car. Uh, I'm planning on using these on the DTO2 two-wheel drive buggy I've got. That's got black CVAs on. Um, but I'm doing something a little bit similar to this. But because the majority of that car's black, I just think I'll tidy these shocks up, cut these little tree arms off that the previous person who built it didn't do, um, and we'll fit that on the DTO2 later. So that's it with the wing on. And I, as I say, I'm really digging that. It's going to look way better when it's got decals on. But um, I just think that's, I love the shape of it. Um, I'll stick my body on. So just before I stick my body on, obviously that's it with the wheels on, blue wheel nuts. I just think the little bits of blue just really turn this car into something a little bit nicer. Um, shocks are lovely. Really impressed with those. 
Um, let's just stick the body on. So that's it with the shell on. Um, so next thing left to do is the decals. Obviously I'm going to trim these three body posts because they look horrendous. Um, but I'm I'm really happy with how this is looking. This is uh, this is looking good. Um, what I want to do is because I just want to sort of use minimal decals. <coughs> excuse me. So I'm going to just put the window ones on first, and the little bits of detail that kind of have to go on, and then we'll just sort of go one one decal at a time. Um, I don't want to put all of them on because I don't think it's going to look particularly good. Um, but as I say, let's get cracking with that now. Right, I'm extremely happy with that. I ended up putting the majority of the decals on. Uh, slapped my wrist and admitted Tamir always knows better. <laughs> we've probably all been there when we're doing custom things. We think we can make it look better, but no. Um, so the only thing slightly different, obviously, is that wing. And I've put that, I've added that TRF decal on each side um, and moved the Tamir logo further up to the corner. And I've placed the dark impact wing um, decal further back. But the rest of the body shell is um, how it's supposed to be. But what a looking thing this is. It's, um, I can guarantee the video's not doing it justice. It's, it's a bit of a looker, I've got to say. Very, very chuffed with it. It's, um, it's pretty badass to me. I've just done the body clips. Um, I might make it look a lot better straight away. That thing's ready to kick up some dirt. Well, guys, I'm extremely happy with that. As I say, I don't think it's, I don't think it, it's coming across on video just how how much it pops. It's absolutely stunning. I'm, I'm made up with it. The the blue alloy that I've added just works perfectly with the decals, um, and that's kind of what I'd hoped. But what a good looking buggy! Um, I'm itching to get this thing out. Um, that's gonna look epic running around. Um, didn't think I'd like it as much, I must admit, because I've looked at a lot of pictures of them before I was I bought it and what have you. Um, and I thought the white was too much, but I think I've kind of neutralised, if that's the right word, um, all the white colour. Uh, I think the wing works, I think the wing really does work. Shocks, turnbuckles, blue wheel nuts, just little things like that. Um, so I'm really, really chuffed with that. So once again guys, thanks for watching, it's much appreciated. And if you are new to this channel, if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us. Uh, and, but most of all, smash that notification bell for our weekly videos. And as always guys, happy assing.